This is some pretty country. And seeing some beautiful farms, barns, and with a, look at those mountains in the back. What a view to wake up to in the morning. Virginia. I haven't really used that feature on my uh, Google Maps where it says fuel efficient routes and I've been uh, using it on this uh, trip and I have just really enjoyed these roads it's putting me on and it says on there that it's roads that are used less and uh, I don't know why when if it's fuel efficient you would think oh look at that old wagon you would think that everybody would want to use them but there's hardly no traffic on all these roads I've been on and, and you don't go through any big cities which I love or I have it so far anyway and I love that because I don't care for the big cities much on a motorcycle but it has really been enjoyable I just select no highways and no tow roads and then select the fuel efficient routes and it just is amazing I'm a little slow about figuring things out it takes me a while you would think with all the traveling I've been doing I would have already known that alrighty then beautiful day beautiful it was a little warm when I was getting packed up I don't know what the temperature is but I was sweating I was afraid I was gonna be cold on this trip so I brought all, tried to bring all these warm clothes and ooh, I'm sweating and I didn't bring my uh, vest that I could wet because I thought well I won't need that it's just taking up space but this morning I was wondering and I might have should have brought that especially when I get off road it might be a little bit warm Oh well, I didn't bring it, so I just have to wet my shirt down and hope that helps. I need to stay in uh, campgrounds the rest of this trip. $100 a night for motels gets pretty pricey. Although I'm saving lots of money on gas, I've only spent like $20 I think on gas since I left home maybe maybe 22 or 3 I don't know I have to figure it out <laughs> that's amazing four hundred miles or whatever well I haven't went four hundred miles yet it, it does it I checked it and it was getting 70 miles per gallon but it's checked it one time that's pretty good So that offsets the motel rooms a little bit, but it'd be even better if I could find campground, a camp uh, tent spot for 10 or 20 bucks a night. I've been riding in some beautiful country, but my GoPro wouldn't work. Imagine that. So I stopped here under a shade tree, took the battery out to reset it. And as of this moment, it's working again. I don't know why it does that. But it does it a lot. And it always seems to do it whenever there's beautiful country that I would love to get video of. But this has been a gorgeous day and some beautiful area to ride in. Tilly's doing good. There's just no traffic on these roads. It's almost like it feels like Sunday when it's Monday. Tilly's just turned to uh, 1,001 mile. See it right there?
up in the mountains of Virginia. It is beautiful. Wish the leaves were changing. They are a little or they're dying one, I can't really tell. I'm just 35 miles from uh, Damascus, Virginia. And it's uh, two o'clock, almost two o'clock here, so I've been trying to decide what to do. I may just like kind of hang out in Damascus for tonight, either get a room or a campground, and then uh, head out in the morning on the BDR. Probably really no reason to start this afternoon because probably about the time I got started, I'd have to stop because I'm still an hour from Damascus when you're going up around these mountains. It takes longer. So I might just find a place and have a good uh, dinner tonight and relax again, let my uh, chest muscle or whatever got pulled, but it uh, heal a little bit more, which probably ought to get a motel room for that because sleeping in a tent on an air mattress is not all that comfortable. Especially that first night I do it, I toss and turn all night long, I can't get comfortable. Then after that, I start getting used to it. I noticed on the forecast, it's going to get down like in the 40s at night. I think by the weekend. And I'm going north from Damascus, so it might even be colder than that. But I'm bit, I've really been enjoying this ride, the whole thing, and today has been exceptionally beautiful. Alrighty, I hate to turn my camera off because I'm afraid it won't turn back on, but... We'll see. Check out this little narrow road. Pretty cows. They're in the shade. Doesn't even have a center line painted on it. I hope I don't need any big trucks. Because it's not very wide. Look at it. Oh, there's an old house I'd love to bring my metal detector to. Guess I'm gonna go up a mountain now on this little narrow road. Amazing. Another neat old house. I bet this is beautiful in the fall where the leaves have all changed driving through here. And it's beautiful now. I guess it's, we got nine miles to go. That's the pole pole. was saying I guess we got 9.3 miles on this yet. 
and that's all right with me. One lane bridge, oh, road, one lane road ahead. I thought I already, <laughs> I almost thought I was on a one lane road. Rumble strips ahead. Be prepared to stop. All kind of, oop, I guess that was the rumble. No tractor sitting in the weeds. Now then, I wonder what makes this. Ch oh, oh, that was cool. I didn't have to sit there very long. I was a, didn't know what made it to change because these bikes are so light. If it's something on the weight thing, I'd probably be in trouble. Yikes! This looks a little scary. Well, that was interesting. All they need to do is put a roof back on that one. It's locked. Pretty flowers. Little garden. How cool. Pretty nice road for out here like this. Looks like I've got to stop again for road construction. Oh, that's a neat place. Lock cabin. Very interesting. Must be a popular road. It seems like they're keeping it, working on it and keeping it in good shape. Uh, is that Christmas trees planted out there? Or Maybe just some kind of shrubs. Yeah, I guess they're shrubs. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, a neat old church. That's when it makes me wish I had my good camera with me. I might have to stop and get a picture of that. That is pretty. And I could be in the shade, too. Baptist Church. take my phone off to do that. I wish I I have a little camera and I looked at it. Uh oh, this is loose. That I could uh, put in my pocket or in my tank bag and I can't do anything with these gloves.
Alrighty then, let's see. Not too bad. Back to it. I'm just really loving this little drive. Look at this old house. Wow. Well, a year or two ago, I'd have never believed you if you told me that I would be riding a little 300 Honda across the country. But I'm actually enjoying it. I sure didn't think I would. I was, I'm so used to the luxuries of the Goldwing. But I'm actually enjoying it. Might be my new mode of transportation. It's a lot cheaper. I can't bring as much stuff though, but that's a good thing. I love going through the country and seeing how other people live in different areas. A lot of them out here live right up on top of a steep hill. I bet in the winter time that's interesting. Because I, I kind of live on a steep hill myself. And it is interesting in the winter time. I usually slip and fall a few times. And as I get older, that's not very desirable. I'm in Damascus. Yeti Trail Runners. What a neat town. I think I've been here before, but I don't remember. I must have just been driving through on the Goldwing. Wow, look at that. Railtown, USA. Made it to Damascus, Virginia. On Tilly, the little engine that could. They got a nice bike and walking trail here. I don't know if that's part of the Appalachian Trail or not. <laughs> 